Uh, let's move on now and let's bring in more corporates. Uh, HPL Electric and Power, they won an order cumulatively. There are two orders. Uh, the total quantum is 100 crores. Gautam Seth, joint MD at the company, joins us now. Uh, good morning, Gautam. Good to have you on the show. Uh, it's a 100 crore uh, order in, uh, in totality. And uh, 70 crores of it is the Bhopal Smart City Lighting Project, of which the exchange filing was on the 19th of November. And 33 crores is the energy metering in the South Southern Power Distribution. Uh, take us through this, and by when do the revenue start uh, uh, becoming accretive? Yeah, this order from uh, Bhopal uh, Smart City Lighting is a very unique one uh, because uh, for the first time in India, uh, in fact, this is the first uh, Smart City uh, Lighting order which has been finalized and uh, the order value is of 70 crores. Uh, this involves a very unique uh, combination of the technology along with the communication. And we have used uh, the six low-pen uh, communication technology, which is one of the, uh, I would believe, one of the most robust and finest technologies available today. And more for so because of uh, that it's very secure, it's got uh, low power transmission of data, as well as it's very easy to integrate with the uh, various systems. So what we are seeing in this is that uh, there is going to be smart lighting which is integrated with a lot of other things like the telecom and the Wi-Fi and other things. And our role in this uh, is for providing the smart lighting where each and every uh, light is communicated to the centralized server and it's integrated. So it's a new technology what has come in and as a company uh, like we have been into LED lighting into the entire uh, uh, gamut of products. Now we are coming into more uh, high-end uh, uh, technology where uh, the lighting is getting integrated to the various communication technologies, to software. Uh, the, the, the revenue from these would uh, start flowing in from uh, the next quarter and uh, 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 thereafter in the next year. Right. And uh, what about 33 crore order uh, for energy meters? Uh, this will obviously be a creative to the metering segment which contributes around 46% to your overall revenues. Yes, that's right, because as you will recall, uh, in the first half, we have not seen uh, many tenders coming out. And what is encouraging for the entire industry is that uh, since the last two months, we are seeing uh, more and more tenders coming out. And uh, the one which uh, last got finalized was uh, of Gujarat Utility, where we got, uh, HPL Electric got 62 uh, crores of order. And this one is of 33 crores, again from a southern utility. So. The, the positive point is that uh, the industry is seeing more tenders coming out and uh, so, so that would uh, help us as a company where, where largely our uh, revenues are uh, from the metering segment. It's, it's the Gujarat Urja Vikas order that you're talking about, right? Yeah, this was from the Gujarat Discom. Yeah. Right. So uh, yes. you, uh, you've mentioned that uh, it's an order book. I mean, uh, the order book is of 365 crores right now, uh, the, the total order book, right? Yes, this was yeah. This was sometimes a month back, but mm. uh, out of these, of course, we have uh, many orders which are under the execution stage or are being executed, and fresh orders coming in. So, right. roughly, I would say, uh, if you look at the order book, it is uh, still very robust, and uh, 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 the, the way uh, the company is now focusing on its performances, we do expect uh, a good revenue coming in in the next quarter. Right. So now the order book is at 365 plus 100. Yeah, but then there are uh, orders getting executed on a day-to-day -day right. basis. So right. uh, exactly, I won't be able to give you the Fair. number right away, but uh, at the it's still at a good level. Understood, understood. So 234 crores of uh, this 365, which was there a month back, was uh, metering from the metering and the utilities uh, segment. So uh, and given that metering is obviously almost 50% of your revenues, so in the in the second half, do we expect the the metering segment to yield more to margins and revenues overall? Yeah, in terms of uh, uh, revenues, because if you see uh, the uh, in the first half, not many tenders uh, came out. So now we are seeing more tenders coming out. Of course, there is a process of these tenders getting finalized, and it takes two to three months until these uh, orders uh, or these tenders are finalized. Uh, we do have a strong order book, which would anyway help us to uh, uh, see the revenues in the the, the H2. But as more and more tenders coming out, uh, as, as the more and more tenders come out, we see a much more uh, 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 positive orders, and then uh, which would help us in the next year. All right. Uh, let's speak about your uh, debt then. Uh, last time we spoke to you, I think it was before listing. 
So your debt was the short term was for 466 and the long term was 160. Uh, so uh, you, there was a release which said that you've reduced your debt uh, to 320 crores. Is it 2320 or by 320? Uh, we have reduced our uh, uh, debt by 320 crores uh, as uh, uh, 160. Uh, so uh, you, there was a release which said that you've reduced your debt uh, to 320 crores. Is it 2320 or by 320? Uh, we have reduced our uh, uh, debt by 320 crores. Uh, as uh, uh, was uh, you know committed in the IPO, and our entire long-term debt has been paid, and the the balance has been paid on the short term. So this would help uh, the company to uh, you know have an interest saving on a uh, quarter to quarter basis, and uh, that would help us uh, to enhance our margins in the uh, subsequent uh, uh, quarters. Right. Uh, also, so also uh, if you see, we've got uh, our rating uh, from uh, Fitch has been enhanced, where uh, our rating is now at A, uh, A1 rating right. uh, on the short term and A rating on the uh, right. long term. Yes. So that again helps us to uh, uh, reduce the interest cost on our uh, residual uh, debt. Yes. Uh, so given that your long term debt was 160 and uh, you managed to raise 320 crores, so 160 of the long term debt is gone. The residual is 160, so if you reduce that from the 466, your short term is still at close to 300 crores? Yes, that's right. Okay, so and we are also, uh, if you recall, we have been, you know, working on uh, uh, bringing in a better efficiency on our working capital. So we have already introduced channel financing for our dealers and distributors. And uh, this, as, as more and more dealers are signing up, would again help us to have a better efficient uh, working capital and again we hope to release a substantial amount from our working capital uh, and uh, reduce our short term debt as well. Right, that's exactly what I wanted to ask you next Gautam because the last time we spoke one of the grouse that investors had was that there's a, a gross mismatch between your days receivables and days payables because of which the working capital re remains strained. So you had said that you will resort to channel financing and try to ease that a bit. So can I have numbers from you in terms of what the DSO and the days payables is at this point? Has the mismatch been reduced to some extent? Uh, yeah, because, you know, uh, up to last month we had over 50 uh, dealers uh, signing in for the channel financing. Now, uh, uh, w w how the process is that, you know, we already have more and more dealers today signing up, and uh, but the impact would be seen only in the Q4 because, uh, you know, there is a credit of 60 days and uh, subsequent. So, as more and more uh, dealers sign up, the visual impact would be seen somewhere in the uh, fourth quarter. And as a company, we are very much committed to, uh, you know, bringing down our uh, receivable days uh, from the trade segment. Okay. Uh, all right, Gautam, we leave it at that. But thank you so much for taking us through your order book, how the uh, working capital situation is improving post the IPO and uh, the uh, good traction in terms of order accretion that the company is seeing. That's HPL Electric and Power. The stock is uh, mildly higher, 0.7% in trade today. 102 is uh, where the price level is. Uh, all right, let's focus on another counter, Deep Industrial.